So today, folks, uh, we're kind of just experimenting a little bit. We're doing some outdoor cooking. We're down here by the beautiful French Broad River. And uh, we're gonna start off really simple. We've got our all-in-one cast iron cooker here from uh, Bare Bones. We've got some Bare Bones cast iron here. We've got a Victorinox 8-inch chef's knife as well as a Dexter 8-inch chef's knife. Some other various kitchen utensils that we carry uh, in the store. And we're just outside the store right now, just down by the river off of uh, off of Highway 66 here, coming into Cerebral off exit 407, um, off of I 40. And uh, we're going to start off really simple with some ground beef, and we're just going to make some burgers. So let's dive right in, pick up that Victorinox, and uh, go ahead and cut that right open. Um, we've got our new all-in-one cast iron grill um, with the coals. It's already going. We're prepping some food right now, and we're just doing some outdoor cooking. And we're going to be doing a whole bunch of these videos. Uh, we've got some burgers that we've got prepped, and uh, we're just going to be prepping a lot of different food and making a lot of different videos for you guys, showing off some of the products that we carry in our store and online. Right now, uh, I'm going to be cutting up some vegetables with this uh, Dexter. 8 inch chef's knife. Uh, fantastic value right here. Um, it's coming in at like $33 to $38, somewhere in there. Um, fantastic value for that stainless steel. And uh, we're just going to be cutting up some vegetables, getting some food prepped, and going to be cooking it down here by the river in a van down by the river. Is that satisfying? Those pockets look wild in there. Yeah, your pockets look wild in there. We've got our SE knives here. Uh, this one is actually Isaac's um, SE4 and S35VN. I've got my SE Zancudo. And when you get things like, like these SEs, and, and it's across the board, Mora's, SEs, Tops, whatever you get, don't think one dimensional. Don't think, you know, this is just for batoning. You can use every day doing all kinds of different things. And I know, I've seen examples, and I'm, I'm an example myself of using these for food prep every day you know whether it's it's peeling something using it as a paring knife or uh, using it right here to, to chop up parsley all right so off any fingers here but we're just going to be chopping it up nice and fine and that blade is going to come extremely sharp right out of the gate Cut that one up. And and that's gonna break it up. Get those juices coming out of the pores there. And it's gonna get that flavor really good too. Where do you want me to put this? I actually have no idea what I'm doing. I'm kind of guessing at this as I go along. Uh, ooh, 
almost messed up. There we go. And you can see those little pieces fall right off. And you want to get it as tight as you can. Just nice small cuts. And it's going to mince that shallot up really nice right there. Mater's right here. Throw these uh, burgers on the grill here. You got it heating up. It's all right, they'll heat up while they're on there. Got to lay it on them. Let them get to cooking throughout. I say it's time to do a flip. Um, we've already cooked some burgers today. Uh, now we're going to prep uh, what I call my uh, campfire chicken or my grilled packet chicken. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to get our chicken breast out. We've already got our minced garlic and shallots already in the pan. I'm also gonna go ahead and put a little bit of uh, olive oil in the bottom of that pan. It's just how I like to do it. Um, this is one of my favorite dishes to cook. Um, it's really good, really easy to make, um, and really easy to prep. Now we're going a little more in depth and we're doing a dish that I really like to do. And I call it like my grill packets or uh, campfire chicken. Um, we've already got the chicken in the pans. Uh, along with some minced garlic and shallots uh, and some uh, olive oil. We're gonna put a little bit more olive oil on top of the chicken here. And then uh, we're gonna start prepping the meal a little bit more. I'm also gonna add, uh, this is some, uh, like a four-way seasoning that we've got here. I'm gonna add some Italian herbs here. Just a little bit of that. Both of those, yeah. How you feel, buddy? And that's that's really the way I cook, y'all. I don't. It's it's not specific recipe. So, you just watched one of our first cooking videos. Clearly, we are experts. If there's something you'd like to see us cook or something you'd like to see us do in that vein, let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for joining us. As always, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, if it cuts, we carry it. Now I don't have to worry so much about which camera to look at because one of them just died.